A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, a young boy and a wizard sat down to meet one of the most beloved characters in all of movie history. Han Solo, <laughs> the lovable, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder, <laughs> now stars in his own movie and for the first time ever is not played by Harrison Ford. Wow. Is Solo worth the trip? Here to tell us from the website Paul's Trip to the Movies, say hi to Paul McGuire Grimes. Hi, hi Paul. Hi, nice oh, wow. Story. Steve can barely contain Come himself. On, man. Look, he's going to get out of his chair. Tell me what you thought. I think you have to go in with the right expectations. Okay, that is not oh, great. Oh, what no, expectations? Not that, well, because this is more, it's a smaller, it's a lighter, funnier take on a Star Wars movie. It's not the big, grand space opera that we've come to get gotten to know through all the other movies. It really is kind of a space western, kind of a James Bond feel than what we've seen before. And it really is the backstory and how Han Solo went to meet Chewie and Lando Calrissian and get a hold of that Millennium Falcon. Everybody is used to uh, seeing Han, uh, Han Solo being played by Harrison mm -hmm. Ford, and they love Harrison yeah. Ford. It's iconic. Mm -hmm. How does the new fella do? So this is Alden Ehrenreich, and he does a good job of making the character his own, but he really isn't the Han Solo that we know and love yet. He's really working his way to being kind of the bad guy, the lovable charmer. He's not quite there yet, so don't go in expecting Harrison Ford impersonations, because it's not that. And then Donald Glover plays... Lando, Lando Calrissian, Calrissian yeah. and he is fantastic. You really believe that he will one day be the Billy D. Williams character. Elizabeth just odd for no reason. I mean, with the words Lando Calrissian, you could have said he played Calvin <laughs> Gorjuvian, and, and she's went, like, oh, oh okay. right. Yeah. Yeah. But Don Glover, Donald Glover, I, yes. Though, he's worth and you were talking Glover. about Amelia Clark earlier, and mm -hmm. she is Han's right. girlfriend in this, and you don't really know if you should trust her or not, and I really loved her in it. And Woody Harrelson's in it as well. I did hear that um, Harrison Ford was very supportive yes. of this new Han Solo. He's good. I mean, he makes his own, as I think that's what you want from this kind of movie. Lay it on me. Tickets. So stuff. I'm giving it three and a half out of five. Okay. Good. I'm seeing it again this weekend. Now that the expectations are in place, I think I can really enjoy it more. Paul sees so many movies so many times. <laughs> I've seen it over and over. All right, you got a couple uh, streaming options for yes. us. First, we'll start with Queer Eye. Yeah, so if you're looking for a feel-good, binge-worthy comfort TV show, this is the reboot on uh, on Netflix. It's eight episodes. They've been renewed for a second season, and I just love this show. I haven't seen any of the new. I mean, I, I seen love any of the, new. Oh. the old one. You will love these guys probably more than the others. It feels fresh. More and than it, Carson Kressley, more than Ted Allen. How is it? It may possible? take a little bit, but I think the show does a great job of making you laugh at the beginning and then making you cry by the end of the confidence, the self-love that their clients now have for themselves. Mm -hmm. It really is this personal makeover. And then the true conversations they have about looking outside stereotypes, whether it's the gay men or the conservative clients that they may have, and how do they actually get to know each other and open their eyes to someone that is very different than who they are. I think that's, that's really cool. great. That's, that's really, really cool. what's so powerful about this show and how each show wraps up. It's so moving. Okay, so binge watch that. Yeah, and just queer probably eye. a little bit like light and fun. It's too, so light and fun. You can just lay on the couch and Eight, watch all eight in a row. <laughs> Very quickly, I know that you're excited that Game Night is now uh, available for you to watch at home. We tried to get it uh, last week, but it, you had to buy it, and we weren't about okay, to well, buy it. Okay, well, you can rent it now, five ninety nine. Jason Bateman, Rachel McAdams, they play a married couple that love hosting Game Nights, and what happens when their murder mystery becomes a real-life kidnapping. Oh, boy. It is so much fun, Great and cast. you love that these are, like, dramatic actors. Kyle Chandler's in it, Jesse Clemens, that get to do comedy, and they're so good at that, too. Oh, so I can't wait for this. Streaming. I know, me too. Yeah. I want to watch that too. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. Uh, you can visit Paul's website. It's Paul's trip to the movies.com for more movie reviews and also listen to his podcast, All Things Streaming, to hear his thoughts on the very latest streaming movies and shows. We got a link to that on our website. You can also listen to Paul on the Colleen and Bradley show on My Talk 1071 every Friday. It is hot.